Israeli troops are reducing their presence in parts of Gaza this weekend. The Israelis say this is not a partial withdrawal. Christian Benavides reports this comes just days after President Biden told the Israeli Prime Minister that the humanitarian situation in Gaza was unacceptable. Six months after the deadly October 7th attack that sparked the war, growing frustration in Israel. Those whose loved ones are being held by Hamas say the Israeli government needs to do more. This is the time to bring them back, all of them as soon as possible. Sigal Manzuri lost her two daughters who were born in Los Angeles in the October 7th attack. We're looking for uh, a way to keep on going without them and it's really difficult. It's really, really difficult. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says Israel is a step away from victory. Sunday morning, Israeli troops started to reduce their presence in southern Gaza. An Israeli spokesman told CBS News it's an evolution of the war effort and not a partial withdrawal. The indications that we've uh, we've been getting from them this morning is this is really largely rest and refit for troops that have been on the ground. Several days ago, President Joe Biden held an intense call with Netanyahu following fatal airstrikes on seven seven aid workers from the World Central Kitchen. And the president was clear with the prime minister, if there's not changes, if things don't get better, then we're going to have to make changes of our own. Dozens of Democratic Congress members, including former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, have signed a letter urging the Biden administration to reconsider sending billions of dollars in weapons to Israel. Cristian Benavides, CBS News.